Hello dear students, welcome to the last lecture in laser and today we will learn with non-linear optics. In this video, we will learn about non-linear polarization, second harmonic generation and also phase matching. We will learn look into what is polarization. When a light beam is passed through a medium, this light beam uh, will have an electric field and a magnetic field embedded to it. An electromagnetic radiation has an electric field and magnetic field in it. So the electric field in that electromagnetic radiation tend to drift the electrons or the charged particles in two different directions creating an electric dipole or an electric field within that medium and that such a field generation or that process is called polarization and such a field which is generated by the electric dipoles which is being created due to uh, presence of an electric radiation is called polarization field. So polarization is the separation of charges in a medium by applying an electric field and thereby creating another field which, op uh, uh, which is opposing this polarizing field. And that electric field is created due to the electric dipoles. When light propagates through a medium, the electromagnetic field interacts and exert force on the loosely bound valence electrons and these valence electrons are drifted away from their ions. When a medium gets polarized, the dipoles in the medium produces a wave and this wave is called polarization wave. Therefore, after polarization from a medium, we can expect the incident wave and also the polarization wave. There are mainly two types of polarization, the linear polarization and non-linear polarization. In isotropic medium, uh, when we uh, treat it with a very low intensity electromagnetic radiation, the electrical polarization which occurs will be proportional to the intensity of the electric field strength of that radiation. That is, we can get a linear relation such that polarization P is equal to epsilon 0 chi E, where epsilon 0 is the permittivity, the absolute permittivity of the medium, chi is the susceptibility of the medium, and E is the electric field of the electromagnetic radiation. In nonlinear polarization, occurs when we treat the same material with a very high intense radiation. A very high optical intensity, nonlinear components of the polarization will also become important. It also become relevant. Therefore, we will get a nonlinear relation between the polarization P and the electric field intensity E such that we will get uh, terms such that e square, e cube, e, to the, uh, e to the power 4, etc. as the intensity of the wave increases. Nonlinear polarization occurs when the medium is incident with a very high radiation such as a laser. That is, when laser light uh, is propagating through a medium, due to its very high intensity, higher order nonlinear terms of polarization becomes relevant. When a laser uh, is passed through a medium, we can find that uh, the relation between the polarization P and the electric field intensity becomes highly nonlinear. We can represent the intensity uh, of the incident electrical intensity of the incident B by E is equal to E0 sine omega t that is the intense uh, the incident beam is a sinusoidal beam and that is oscillating sinusoidally about the origin. Now such an incident radiation 
is passing through a medium then the medium get polarized and the polarization will have many different terms now after polarization the medium will give you the polarization wave and this wave can also contain different components so this part this is the linear part because p and e are related linearly therefore the linear part will come into play and this will happen uh, only if uh, the intensity is very small when the intensity is very large all these nonlinear terms will become very relevant and they play a good role in polarization as we can see uh, it will become such as epsilon 0 chi e 0 sin omega t plus epsilon 0 chi 2 e 0 square sin square omega t where sin square omega t can be rewritten as half over 1 minus cos omega t the next term will become epsilon 0 chi 3 e 0 cube sin cube omega t where sin cube omega t can be rewritten as 3 sin omega t minus sin 3 omega t by 4 in this equation you can see that the first term is related only to omega t whereas in second term a 2 omega term is coming and in the th uh, third term the 3 omega term is coming that is with uh, different modes or the different harmonics uh, which is being generated here every harmonic is coming with twice as frequency as the incident wave that is the first wave first polarizing wave has the same uh, frequency as the incident wave whereas the second mode second harmonic of the polarization wave will have twice the intensity as the incident wave and the third harmonic will have thrice the uh, frequency of uh, that of the incident wave and this generation of different wavelength is called harmonic generation therefore generation of higher order frequencies is called harmonic generation now let us look into uh, second harmonic generation as we know that the medium when a light is passed through a medium the medium will get polarized and the dipoles in the medium will produce a wave which is called polarization wave now the polarization wave produced will be same as that of the incident wave only if same as the frequency of that of incident wave only if the incident light has a very less intensity if the incident light has very high intensity more and more waves can be formed and these waves are called different harmonics so the first wave of the first term is called the first harmonic here it depends only on omega and that is same as that of the frequency of the incident wave in the second harmonic the second harmonic term is related to 2 omega that it is it will have twice the frequency of the incident wave and uh, these are produced due to harmonic uh, terms in this polarization and the third term will be uh, related to 3 times omega and so on and this happens when we have a good uh, intensity of radiation the second term which is generated is called the second harmonic and the process of generation of this second harmonic is called second harmonic generation or SHG. This second harmonic has double the frequency of the incident wave and this process is called frequency doubling. Therefore, the process of getting the second harmonic wave is called the second harmonic generation or frequency doubling this is highly used in case of lasers 
Here, during second harmonic radiation, two photons of frequency omega are joined together to form a one photon of frequency 2 omega. That is, when a nonlinear optic medium, that is, when the optic medium has chi which is not from the linear polarization. That is, when the medium is treated with a high intensity wave, the medium will become a nonlinear optic medium and that optic medium will have different susceptibility to different uh, frequencies. Therefore, there will be chi 2, chi 3, etc. as the term is coming. So, when a nonlinear medium is interacted with a wavelength of omega, that medium will give us two different waves, one having a wave with a frequency 2 omega and another with a frequency omega. Two such photons are joined together to give another one photon with a frequency 2 omega. Therefore, using second harmonic generation, we can uh, double the frequency of the incident radiation. Now let us look into the next term which is coming and that is phase matching. As we all know, a medium will offer different kind of resistance to different uh, waves. That is, the waves with different wavelength will have different frequency in the same medium. Therefore, suppose if V1 and V2 are the velocities of the incident wave and the second harmonic wave, then we can write V1 is equal to C by mu1, where C is the intensity, uh, C is the uh, speed of the light, and mu1 is the, and mu1 here is the refractive index. And we already familiar, we are already familiar with this term. Refractive index. Refractive index offered to a wave of frequency omega. And V2 will be equal to C by mu2. And this mu2 is the refractive index offered by the same medium for a wave with frequency 2 omega. That is the same medium will offer two different refractive indexes for two different wavelengths. This is why we have a divergence when we use a prism. The prism medium is same but it will offer different refractive indexes for different wavelengths. Therefore, here also the medium will offer uh, two different uh, refractive indexes for the incident wave and the second harmonic wave. Therefore, both will have two different velocities V1 and V2. If in case this V1 is equal to V2, that is the incident wave and the harmonic wave will have the same velocity, that is the same momentum, then there is the efficient transfer of energy from the incident wave to the second harmonic wave. And this condition is called phase matching. Therefore, phase matching is a condition when the incident wave and the reflected uh, and the second harmonic wave will pass through the medium with the same velocity in spite of having different frequencies. And such a condition is called phase matching. And this phase matching is offered by anisotropic crystals. Therefore, using anisotropic crystals, we can actually double the uh, frequency of any incident radiation. We use barium borate crystal to double the intensity of a laser beam which has 980 nanometer wavelength and the produced wave will have 490 nanometer wavelength. That is the wavelength is being halved or that is the frequency is being doubled when the laser beam is passed through an anisotropic crystal. 
So by this we end our chapter laser. Today we have learned about non-linear optics. In non-linear optics we learned about non-linear polarization, the harmonic generation, especially the second harmonic generation and also we learned about the phase matching condition. See you in the next chapter. Thank you.